Hi, I am Teacher Wan from Tadika Eden Hafiz Montessori. Today, I am going to read for you a story titled Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Let's read together. Hello, I'm Goldilocks. It's so nice to meet you. I want to tell you a little story about how one day I ventured to a house far, far away where a mommy bear, a daddy bear, and a baby bear lived together. I didn't know how dangerous it could be to wander from home and take things which didn't belong to me. I almost got in so much trouble. Hurry and open the book to follow me on my adventure and find out what happens next. Once upon a time, there were three bears, Daddy Bear, Mommy Bear, and Baby Bear. Every morning, the three bears all ate a bowl of delicious porridge for breakfast. One morning, the three bears went for a walk in the forest to let their hot porridge cool down. Meanwhile, a little girl called Goldilocks was playing in the forest. As she passed by the three bears' cottage, Goldilocks smelled something delicious coming from inside. Let's see what is Goldilocks doing. Oh, hello again! Let's play! <laughs> Goldilocks was hungry, so she peeped through the window and saw three bowls of porridge on the table. Mmm, that porridge looks very tasty, she said and crept into the cottage. First, Goldilocks took a spoonful of porridge from the largest bowl. Ouch! She squealed. This porridge is far too hot. Next, Goldilocks took a spoonful from the medium-sized bowl of porridge. Yuck! She said. This porridge is far too cold. Finally, Goldilocks took a spoonful from the smallest bowl of porridge. Mmm, this porridge is just right. So, Goldilocks ate all of the porridge and even licked the bowl clean. Now that Goldilocks wasn't hungry anymore, she began to explore the rest of the cottage. First, she wandered into the living room where she saw three chairs. Let's join Goldilocks. There you are. I'm so glad to see you. I've lost a very special clock. Can you help me find it? Me find the book. Very good. Can you show me where the little chair is? You're doing great. Now, where is the carpet? You found it. You found all the missing.
missing items. Now, turn the page to see what comes next. Goldilocks sat down on the largest chair. Ouch! This chair is much too hard, she grumbled. Goldilocks then sat down on the medium-sized chair. Oh dear, this chair is much too soft, she said. Finally, Goldilocks sat down on the smallest chair. This chair is perfect, smiled Goldilocks. Goldilocks rocked back and forth until suddenly there was a loud cracking noise and the little chair collapsed beneath her. Goldilocks tried to put the chair back together again but it was well and truly broken. So, she quickly left the living room and went upstairs. In the bedroom, Goldilocks found three beds. She let out a huge yawn. Ooh. It had been a busy day and she was tired. Goldilocks decided to try the biggest bed. Ouch! This bed is much too hard, she complained. Next, she tried the medium-sized bed. Oh dear, this bed is much too soft, she said. Let's do some colouring. My goodness, what has happened here? These items have lost their color. Can you help me bring them back to life? Let's paint them together. Blue. Red. Wonderful. Green. Yellow. Thank you so much for your help. All this coloring has made me tired. <sighs> I need a nap. See you soon. Finally, Goldilocks tried the smallest bed. This bed is perfect. She sighed as she snuggled down under the covers and fell fast asleep. A little while later, the three bears arrived home from their walk. They were glad to be home again and were looking forward to their breakfast. Who's been eating my porridge? growled the baby bear. Who's been eating my porridge? said Mummy Bear. And who's been eating my porridge? It's all gone, cried Baby Bear. The three puzzled, hungry bears went into the living room to sit down. Who's been sitting in my chair? growled the Daddy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? cried Mummy Bear. And who's been sitting in my chair? It's broken! sobbed Baby Bear. Oh my! What's happened here? Maybe an old bull ran through the house. Or maybe a tornado. Well, would you look at that? Someone was sitting in my chair. <gasps> and someone in mine. Somebody sat in mine and broke it. Oh, I think I know what happened now. Follow me. Oh. 
The three bears were very upset that someone had been in the house. So they went upstairs to look around. Who's been sleeping in my bed? growled Daddy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? gasped Mummy Bear. And who's been sleeping in my bed and is still there? whispered Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears standing over her. She screamed loudly, leaped out of bed and ran as fast as she could all the way home. Ha ha ha! I don't think she'll go into someone's house without being invited ever again, laughed Baby Bear. Now, Let's make some more porridge. Let's celebrate. We like to play music when we're happy. It's been a wonderful journey together, and now it's time for us to say goodbye. It was so nice to meet you, and most of all, it was wonderful to make such a great new friend. Bye now! Moral of the story Before entering someone else's house, please knock the door or give salam. Assalamu alaikum! Hello, anybody home? And ask permission before playing with someone else's toys or stuff. That's all for today. Bye!